Hey guys, Manny from Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping here. Um, another question I get asked a lot is how do I lead my batteries? Do as much research as you want, and you're always going to find this. So, I'll use a common two battery setup. Very simple. You join your negatives, this is for a parallel 12 volt setup. You join your positives. Okay? You pull all of your positive loads from here and you pull all of your negative loads from here. It is that simple. Now, I'll dive into this a little bit more. This and this needs to be quite thick. When I say quite thick, if you've got a monster inverter coming out of here on 70mm cable, well, there's no point in having an APNS joining up your batteries because um, you've got power coming out here and, you know, it's just going to fizz out. So, to size this cable up and these, these link cables up correctly is it needs to be as thick as the largest load that you're going to pull out of your battery. So, if there was a 2000 watt inverter on this, I and B. So, big inverter, right, 2000 watts. Now it's going to pull upwards of 160 amps, right? So you get a 160 plus amp load. Now if I put 160 amps on APNS, it's going to get hot and it's going to melt. Um, big no-no. So you've got to look at that. And you've got to look at the gauge of the cable that's running. So you'd have monster thick cable, monster thick. You know, 70 squares is what I'll probably use for a 2,000 watt of area. 50 squares would be fine, uh, depending on the distance, of course. So, but yeah, you want to have it nice and thick. Now, I haven't drawn any fuses of this, but it just gives you an idea. So, you're pulling power over both batteries evenly. You're pulling power evenly because you're bound by the gauge of these cables. As long as they're thick enough, current and voltage will be identical on both these batteries. So, this is the right way of doing it. It's um, very important. A lot of people um, have problems with their batteries all the time because they'll buy a second battery because they want more capacity, so they'll just come along and add it. You know, you see that all the time. Um, want to increase my capacity, I've got a 100 amp hour battery. Yep, put this in. Here's two link cables, away you go. So, you know, they come along, there's their battery. They come along, so there's all their loads. Yep, cool. Doing their thing. They come along and they add another battery. And they go, yoink, and then yoink there. Now what happens is, if there's a monster inverter on the system that old mate didn't tell old mate about, <laughs> you put a big demand on these two, well, this is going to be lower than this. Yes, they're nice and thick, if they are thick. Um, but, you know, depending on who's selling the uh, cables or whatever. The point is, you've got negatives and positives coming out of one battery. And then these are just linked in. It's okay for light loads, but still, even then, I'm, I'm skeptical. I don't, I don't think it ever works properly. Um, it just the, the numbers don't add up for me. And I've, I've had separate meters on different batteries at all times while I'm putting in 20, 30 amps, and there is voltage differences between them. Being able to clamp meter in between, you know, other batteries like this, they keep doing this daisy chain sort of system. You know, I've had a clamp meter there, there, and I've watched the voltage change and the amperage change between them. It's just not even. You can pump in as much power as you want here. It'll always be different at this point compared to those points. So if you had a triple system like this, that's fine. Pull your positives from there, you know? Pull them all from there, pull your negatives from there. It's simple. And you link these with thick gauge cable, really thick. Because by the time power comes out of there and you know it gets looped around and you're pushing power and you're pulling power, the amperage will be even between these points. And I mean like really even. And the voltage will be identical at each three three of the batteries, in this case three. So yeah, linking batteries right. Um, overcharging batteries happens all the time. Discharging batteries, batteries not working together. Essentially when you're Running with a 12 volt system and you increase your capacity, your objective is to increase capacity. You don't want them fighting each other. So you're creating one battery in a sense, just multiple, you know, larger cells. So 
do it right and then you won't have a problem. So yeah, take note of how your batteries are linked up together and you'll be fine.